Hey everyone, okay, so today's tutorial is gonna be on how to keep your skin looking as young as possible, for as long as possible. Now there are many ways we can do this. There are um, skincare, can go a great, I can go a long, long way in order to keep our skin young. We can cleanse our skin properly. We can be using toners and moisturizers that contain antioxidants, cell communicating ingredients, things that can help to repair some of the damage that the environment causes us. And then we can use exfoliants to exfoliate the dead skin cells and of course protect our skin with sunscreen. Now, as you can see from the thumbnail, and here we go, you can see this picture. Now this picture was taken and it's such a massive proof about sun damage because we can see that this side, the side of the face that looks more wrinkled is the side of the face that was exposed to the sun through driving a truck. And that was the side, that the, um, the side where the sun was coming in from the window. And this is the effects that the sun has on our faces and our bodies. Another great way is to just sort of stand up and get naked. Now if you, unless you're a nude sunbather, the dirty, dirty thing, most of the time our bodies aren't really exposed that much sun, particularly our backsides. So go and take a look at your bum in the mirror. Now all you need to do is have a little look and you'll notice that it's probably smooth. It's not wrinkled, it's not creased, and it doesn't have age spots or sun spots that we get on our hands and our chest and our face because it's not exposed to the sun. That's why it's so smooth. At least that's one of the reasons why it's so smooth and at least why it's not covered in sun damage. We need to be protecting our skin. Now, it kind of varies that depending on where you live, they say maybe you should have a higher sun factor. Remember that the whether it's sun factor 15, sun factor 30, sun factor 50, all that's really telling you is that this is the length of time you can stay in the sun without burning. So if you go out in the sun and you burn within five minutes without anything on your skin, then a sun factor 15 will allow you to stay out 15 times longer before you burn. So that's how you work it out. So a 30 would be 30 times longer before you burn and so on. Now depending, I think it really depends as well on the climate you're in. Here in the UK, I think a 15 is perfectly fine. If you wanna do 30, that is absolutely great. Go for it, feel free. But um, I tend to use um, a Sun Factor 15 and I also use mineral foundation over the top of that most of the time because I like the way it looks. It's undetectable and it just makes my skin look better and I'm all for looking better, of course. But the thing is we need to remember is we need to apply enough of it. Nobody, almost nobody applies enough sunscreen. You need to apply a lot of it. And sunscreen is such a problematic ingredient because it's so, it can clog pores. And also because of the kind of ingredients, they are oftentimes really thick, really emollient. And those of us with oily skin, it can be problematic. It's impossible to say that there's a sunscreen that will not clog your pores because so many can clog your pores that it's a case of trial and error and this is the only way to find a sunscreen that will work for you. But the best thing you can do for your skin in terms of keeping it looking as young as possible is to wear sunscreen every day, every time you're outside, every time you wake up in the morning, apply your sunscreen. It's the most important thing that you can do in order to keep your skin looking as young and smooth for as long as possible. It's that simple. We can use Botox and there's an apps, you know, go for it if that's what you want. We can use fillers, we can exfoliate our skins, but unless we are using a sunscreen, all of this is pointless because we're not doing what we need to do in order to protect it. And we know that aging, at least 90% of the aging we see on our faces is caused from the exposure to the sun. It just is soul destroying to, you know, as we age, our faces age, of course, and to know that we can protect it and we can keep protecting it for as long as possible is such a good thing. We want a quick fix, we want the Botox, we want the fillers, we want the exfoliants, but what we really need to be doing is preventing any future damage from this day onwards by using a sunscreen. And if that picture isn't enough to scare you all, to run out and go and apply some SPF 30, then I don't know what is. Okay, thanks for watching, bye-bye.